On June the 30th, 1934, Uncle Jake was discharged from the Civilian Conservation Corps. The next firm date that I have as far as chronology goes uh, would be February the 11th, 1939, when Uncle Jake graduated from the Southwestern Diesel Schools Incorporated in Houston, Texas. And as you can see from the certificate on the screen, uh, he was uh, given the title of uh, diesel engineer, uh, which uh, allowed him to work on marine, stationary, and portable diesel engines, skills which would have served him well as a, as a um, machine officer's mate uh, in the uh, U.S. Navy. The family history is a little bit sketchy between the years of 1934 and 1939 <clears throat> as to where exactly he was or what he was doing. Uh, however, I think uh, I can hazard a pretty good guess. Um, due to family circumstances that occurred back in 1931, my great-grandmother was left a single parent with children still at home uh, and they did own a farm in La Prior, Texas. So my assumption is that in between 1934 and 1939, Uncle Jake went back home uh, to work on the farm uh, to really perform the duties of, of uh, farming uh, and uh, any other responsibilities that would have been uh, given to the head of a household uh, since he was the oldest uh, of the four boys. After graduating from diesel, uh, the diesel school, uh, he went to work in 1941 for North American Aviation in Dallas, Texas, uh, where he uh, found work as a sheet metal worker. Uh, and he was actually employed with North American Aviation until he joined uh, the Navy. Some family history that was assembled by one of my second cousins uh, states that uh, the Christmas of 1940 was the last time that my great-grandmother had all ten of her children together. Uh, she st states that war had begun in Europe already, and it was just a matter of time until we would enter it. Uh, and then a little while later, she says the next Christmas, which would have been Christmas 1941, found the sons off to war, which was to prove fatal for Uncle Jake. However, her chronology is just a little bit off because uh, Uncle Jake actually did not enlist in the Navy until August of 1942. And so there is a good possibility that he did spend Christmas of 1941 with the family, uh, but then was absent uh, in 1942. As I mentioned in a previous video, Admiral Samuel Elliott Morrison stated that these smaller ships like the LST-348 were often forced to perform functions and make long voyages for which they really had not been designed. One such uh, instance for the LST-348 occurred during Operation Avalanche, which was the attack on the beaches at Salerno, Italy on September the 9th, 1943, as one of her sister LSTs, the 389, was attempting to unload her cargo, uh, she came under heavy fire uh, from somewhere inland, and the fire support destroyers uh, failed uh, to locate the source of the enemy guns firing on uh, LST 389, and Barbara Brooks Tomlin, in her book, With Utmost Spirit, states it this way. LST-348 Skipper ordered his ship to return fire. Quote, at 1340, our 40-millimeter gun opened up 
with ten rounds on a gun flash on which it had previously been trained. Beached about a hundred yards south of LST-348, LST-389 joined in with her 40mm and 3-inch guns. LST-348's crew believed that a white cottage north of the water mill at the end of the aqueduct harbored spotters and that it, it was the source of enemy snipers. Six shots were fired into its roof immediately after the soldiers advanced up to the building. No more sniping was observed. LST-348's 40mm gun fired at several other targets without observing results, and LST-389's 3-inch gun silenced several fire points. It was observed at no time, LST-348 skipper wrote, did the men of the construction battalion under Lieutenant Buchanan working on the pontoons hesitate or slow up due to the gunfire. Their work was performed efficiently and effectively. Okay, so we have gotten the medium gray uh, onto the hull. Um, in this light it may be a little harder to tell that the the medium gray from the gray primer that was on it but the it is quite a bit lighter um, and the the lines came out fairly smooth didn't have any paint pull up on the red uh, when when I removed my, my tape from where I masked it off so we have that, have the, the medium gray on the hull. Uh, started putting a few of the, of the deck details on. Um, not sure if that'll focus very well. Let me try to zoom it. Maybe that'll focus. There we go. So we've gotten, uh, gotten this piece on here, here, and then the, this is a, a winch, um, if you look at the, at the photo, at the reference photo, you can see that right up Right here, there were two holes, uh, one on either side uh, here, and through those through those holes, these these lines ran out uh, to uh, pull a material uh, back uh, to the ship. Um, there was really not enough room. On the on those particular pieces to to drill those holes so I'm going to have to leave those off but then if I understand correctly this the winch here the the line uh, the line would have gone out and through through those holes uh, so that is that is that and did do a little bit of of detail painting uh, on on that a uh, little black a little metallic gray and then a lot of this is going to get a wash over it uh, just to to make some of the details stand out a little bit better um, and uh, so there's that and then uh, the two uh, rectangular pieces there uh, in front, uh, those were uh, those were added on, uh, and then we have two more uh, a little further back. There's one one on that side, and then one directly across from it. So that is where we are so far. Paint and a little bit of deck detail. Okay, we've gotten the anchor on. Um, I went ahead and painted the anchor um, 
the Tamiya metallic gray, uh, and then I did a wash over it with uh, the Vallejo um, light rust, uh, just to kind of give it a, a little bit of a weathered look. Uh, and so there is the there is the anchor. Uh, bring it up here now, so you can see. Did get the got the gun tubs on. Uh, that is the this is the the front uh, the front gun, uh, and you can see uh, that we did a um, did a just a black wash on the on this part of it, um, and then the the gun itself we painted with the uh, Tamiya gunmetal. So there's the front the front one and then the the port side uh, the port side gun in the front uh, again uh, same thing same thing as with the as with the front gun and I'm just going to zoom it out here so you can see there is the the gun uh, tub on the other side uh, so that was put on then we have um, these exhaust uh, exhaust vents um, here and as you can see as I'll just move it back there are several uh, and we've got several more to go on the back of the deck but uh, all of those were put on and these were actually um, just solid they didn't have holes uh, so I went ahead and drilled holes in the in the tops just to make them look a little more realistic uh, and then we have the uh, the the hatchways uh, here and uh, here and again these were uh, painted with the medium gray uh, and then I did just a black wash uh, over the gray uh, to, to give it a little bit more of a weathered look uh, and then uh, we also have another anchor here uh, that was done with the same same weathering that the other anchor was. Um, and then these these little pieces here, um, I'll be honest, I don't exactly know what they are. Um, they're grates of some sort, I'm assuming. I'll have to do a little bit more research, but uh, I believe there were about 18 to 20 of these uh, that were added to the front part of the deck um, and then here uh, these these parts and again I don't know what they are uh, but there were six of those uh, on the front the front part of the deck uh, that were added uh, as well and I'll try to keep my fingers out of the camera but uh, so there is most of what we we got done uh, and then one other small uh, detail, uh, we did put these um, railings or, uh, again, not really sure what the function of these are, but uh, there is one on either side. I'll see if we can turn it around here. See, and there's the, the one on the other side. Uh, and so, I um, actually got quite a bit of work done. Uh, the next, uh, the next bit of business is to get uh, adding the, these uh, these pieces to the back, to the back part of the deck. Uh, adding the rest of the exhaust vents uh, on the, the back of the deck, uh, and then adding the. I guess the the superstructure here, uh, and the the rest of the guns, uh, and then uh, these there will be railings that go around uh, the the outside of the deck, uh, and so that will be uh, the project for next week. But for now, uh, we're going to call it at this week's uh, update, uh, and so look forward to. Uh, seeing you all the next time around. Talk to you later. Bye.